Um, okay. Okay, cool. So just to set everything up uh, for everyone who's tuned in right now, it's our first live stream from Korea. So we're testing out some new stuff. Uh, we're doing it together with our partners from PaySafe. For those who don't know what PaySafe is, it's an easy prepaid payment meta method where you don't need any credit cards. You just have to go buy a voucher with cash, redeem it, and then you can use it on buying multiple games. You also can use it in the Riot Store. And today, Chris, you probably already have your icon and emote. Oh, I do. I do. <laughs> But for those guys who don't have yet, uh, be active on while we're streaming here ask the questions and you will be able to win some pins i'll have like a special code text for you guys and yeah um also in a second just in a second we're gonna pin um the website text where you also can find the rules pay safeguard is working in 45 countries uh, in the world and uh, yeah so Just check that you're from one of those countries, otherwise you won't be able to redeem your price. So, yeah, let's start with the questions that I have prepared first before the fans get warmed up. So, okay. how were the reactions uh, about the group, pay, uh, group stage draw? Because it's been a while now, you probably already like settled yeah. in a little bit with that, so talk, talk us through it. I think there was some different reactions, really. Joey was quite happy. The players were were like, "Oh, here we go!" Like, it's quite a tough group, but the pressure makes sure we stay sharp, I guess. Hello, Dehan. Like, "Oh, here we go!" Like, go away. It's quite a tough group, but sorry, Dehan's. Oh, destroyed. nice. So, call him here. People were really happy about his new hair. <laughs> Was it actually yeah, inspired, by, <laughs> inspired by inspired by Dragon Ball Z? No, I think he originally wanted to go grey. I think, but then went a bit blonder, really. Okay. But, yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Oh, pe but yeah. So I see people words. asking me, "Where's the chat?" Yeah, comments on the chat. I'm sorry, I'm like not in this Facebook lingo yet completely, but yeah. Oh, okay. So maybe you can talk a little bit about where the players are right now, what's been going on. Uh, the players are all practicing, really. Like, I could just put the camera over and ooh, if I can, oh, you nice. can see them there. Uh -huh. There's Jesper behind the pillars, Luca and Yoon. Okay. They're all just playing, pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. So uh, talking a little bit about the mood there atmosphere you briefly said what you guys think about the group draw so what's been going on you've been what now five days some people have been there a week now yeah yeah the we've been here i guess this is our fourth or fifth day yeah fourth day and the players have been there for about 10. dehan came home from paris like straight after the final so he's been here a long time and the mood's really good yeah players are all really happy The boot camp's going well so far. Really well, I, I'm gonna be switching between Reddit thread because we also have some comments and questions there. I only want to yeah. encourage the people on Facebook stream to ask great questions, check out the conditions for the pay safe card pins because you can win like 10 euro vouchers which you can spend on the sweet G2 esports emotes and icons. Um, so I, I've seen uh, one very interesting question. Oh, I'm gonna start with the spicy one. Someone asked, "Will we see Trick or Brother Trick?" What do you think, Chris? We'll, we'll definitely see Trick. <laughs> There'll be no Brother Trick. <laughs> we'll make sure he has plenty of water to drink. We'll, we'll be fine. Um, we'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, obviously, a lot of people, uh, players also voiced it as a problem, been saying that best of ones is something which is tricky for our team. How mm -hmm. how you guys have been preparing? Is it one of the goals of the bootcamp to overcome the struggle? Well, I think a lot of our practice over the past split has really been looking into fixing that. Like For previous splits, we came into it really like focusing on our opponents and playing against our opponents' playstyles. But in best of ones, this didn't really work as 
teams would change things and there would be a lot of variance. So I think the split, we focused a lot more on ourselves rather than our opponents and focused it on how we want to play. And that means we should hopefully be a lot more steady in best of ones. You just briefly mentioned that Joey was happy to get in this particular group. Um, I remember yeah. when there was a post-draw show of Riot, the Fischio said uh, they basically call Samsung a better version of G2. Uh, what's your opinion on that? Do you see any resemblance? Um, yeah, we definitely see some resemblance. Like they're, they're kind of similar to us. We look to play like mid to late game as well. But I guess we will see in a few weeks who is the better version of who. <laughs> Um, one thing uh, I've heard from you guys privately, but maybe you can explain to the fans that there have been some significant differences between bootcamp last year, bootcamp this year. Um, what, what's yeah, been yeah. going on? What's different? So I wasn't at the bootcamp myself like last year, uh, but from talking to Joey and the players, I think they all think this bootcamp's a big improvement, really. The the area we're in is really good. It's like near some universities, so there's a lot of like nightlife. There's a lot of food and restaurants around, so it's a lot better. I think like last year, I think they had to resort to ordering a lot of their food in because they weren't in such a great area. But this year, it's definitely a good area to be in. Well, we've seen on Twitter that you guys met the Inven crew and went for some yeah. food with them. Uh, tell a little bit about the whole experience. What was it? <laughs> yeah, that was really fun. Um, it was a very different interview. They came in and they had a few games to play to like get some interesting answers and interaction between the players. So that was a lot of fun. And then after the interview, they took us out for Korean barbecue which was really good. And they basically just cooked everything for us. It was great. Was oh, they cooked for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're not we're not so good at cooking Korean barbecue yet. Like, so they had to take care of us. Oh, I just remembered uh, in our latest uh, G2 Esports video from Paris, there was a moment uh, where uh, I remember Trick was watching Samsung play KT Rosser. And yeah. and the guys were joking like, oh my god, they didn't make it. We're not gonna scrim them. So <laughs> with this, I want to jump into the whole scrims thing. Who are you guys yeah. actually scrimming there? How is it going? How much can you tell us? <laughs> well, I can't really tell you exactly what teams are scrimming, but we're definitely really happy with the schedule that we've got over the past few weeks. We've got a lot of good teams to play and a lot of good practice to come. Well, I have to ask the juicy question. Do we have like super top tier Korean powerhouses on our scrim list? I'd say yes, possibly. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. Um, also, one of the things uh, always with the pro players is important that they come there, they obviously get those accounts, but they also like grinding solo queue as far as I know. Yeah. Who do you consider like the most hardcore grinder on our team? Who's been doing best? Who's doing worst? <laughs> I think that would definitely have to be Sven or Perks in terms of grinding. But I think bonus points go to Joey, to be honest. He's been watching a lot of VODs and doing his homework as well. So no, nobody's lacking. Okay. Um, also, I... I was uh, saw wait a second on Reddit. I think uh, people were asking why players are not streaming. So maybe you can also give a little bit of insight to that. Are they mostly practicing, or they don't re want to reveal strategies, or there's like some other? It's not so much strategies. It's just the players just really want to focus as much as they can on themselves when they're streaming. It's a, it takes a bit away from like how well they can play because they have to focus on the stream and on chat and all these things. So they're just focusing on getting as good as we can get for the group stage, really. Okay. Um, talking just about focusing on the scrims getting... that you obviously can't say, who are you screaming, but yeah. how is it going? 
it's going really well, actually, yeah. Um, the players came to the boot camp about five days before the coaches got here just so they could like get used to the time difference and adjust. So the scrims have been really, really effective, I think, this time around. I don't know. I, I just see a comment from one of our viewers, Sven. He's asking... Not Sven, Sven. <laughs> so I was going to say who <laughs> That else. would be funny, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sven is asking if, if Ezreal Jungle is viable for Worlds and do you think it will be picked? Ah, uh, no comment, I guess. <laughs> like, from what I've seen of it, it looks, it looks like it can do things, but it just depends on how you want to draft and how your team wants to draft. On whether your team can actually play it. Um, another guy, Sam Jones, is asking, uh, because obviously the people feel entertained about your Invent interview, when is it coming up? <laughs> it should be out in a few days. Like I think the timeline was either tomorrow or the next day, but I'm not 100% sure. It needs to be translated into Korean, I believe. Or Yeah, so guys, don't worry, right. we're going to share it all over on our social media, so just stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to encourage everyone on Facebook to send in the questions because you still, especially if you're in one of 45 countries on pay safe card list, you can get those pins. So we'll, we'll be going to that point later. Um, I'm not sure if it's a guy or girl, but Hiram Mendes is asking, who will you let take second place, Samsung or RNG? <laughs> I think neither of them. The fourth place team, they can they can have second place. It's fine. Second Whoever place. comes in from plans. <laughs> That's nice. Um, I've got a little bit more specific, like co uh, analyst related question. Also, right. you you just said that you you just finished scrims, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. So maybe you can tell from your perspective how do you prepare for scrims? How do you review them? H how does it look from this, let's say, perspective that well, people don't see? Yeah, well, I can go into pretty much like our daily routine right now, which is generally we wake up around 12. Not wake up, we wake up around 11 or 11.30, depending on the player and how much they want to play before we go into practice. And then at 12, we go to the gym. Like everyone goes to the gym, and Weldon like leads us through some like stretching exercises to get everyone like limber and ready to play. So you're gonna Cause... be all pumped up for world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then then we have an hour to get breakfast after that, and then we play three games, and then have a break for lunch, and then another three games, and then that's sort of the end of the day. Players go into solo queue after that. In terms of like analyst work it's mostly just scouting the teams we're coming to play against and doing work in VOD review is it fun <laughs> oh yeah it's fun this is this is pretty much like what i got into esports for this was the dream for me as an analyst like i wanted to come to a korean boot camp and, and now i'm here so it's great it's a lot of fun leo is asking uh Will we see some spicy picks prepared for groups, or will you play mostly standard? Well, in best of ones, you never know. Like, yeah, <laughs> definitely, there there can be some some stuff going. Go full UOL. I can't, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not full Unicorns yeah, of Love, no. But we we can go somewhere. We can, we can bring some stuff out. Um, Hiram is also asking, have you guys scrimmed someone who looks unexpectedly good, like way above us? I, I don't someone... actually think we have. I think everyone's looked pretty much as we expected, maybe a little bit worse in some cases. I don't think anyone's looked far above us. I think we've looked pretty strong. Um, I, w I wanted actually to ask, uh, I'm curious myself, I believe that some fans also are, are you in touch with other teams or players like Misfits or other teams not speaking screaming but hanging out, doing stuff? Um, not so much actually. Um, I think 
Jayhan met up with a couple of Longzhu players a couple of days ago. I think Yoon's going to visit some friends from other teams, but I think the players are mostly keep, like keeping in touch with their friends on other teams, but nothing, nothing like more than that, really. Well, Longzhu are considered to be heavy favorites, so can we say that we getting a little bit of insights there? <laughs> <laughs> probably not. No, probably not. Like Longzhu will probably like try and get information from from us, really. Ooh. Like. Um, also, right now, play-ins are about to kick in. Um, yep. I'm curious, do you have any expectations regarding those? I mean, also, it's kind of weird that this year World Elite is in play play-ins, as considered yeah. very strong team. Yes, uh, I don't expect many upsets from the play-ins. Like, the teams that are in first seed seem like much stronger than the other teams that they're playing against. So I, I'm pretty sure we'll just see the same teams we would have seen if the play-ins didn't happen. But it would be good to see, like, we've seen at MSI a lot of upsets came in. <laughs> There's a sneaky Carlos behind you. Oh, no. I guess I've got, I I've got our orders I intentionally, there. I intentionally didn't read. Six zero. <laughs> I intentionally didn't read this because it's not a question. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, well, it, at, le at least our comment section is having fun with that. <laughs> Guys, uh, I, I see uh, you spamming. Uh, you can also ask questions and win pins, so <laughs> be active in that regard as well. Can you win uh, pins for just saying 6 0? No, Carlos is not going to win anything. <laughs> oh. He he'll be um, punished for hijacking our stream. <laughs> nice. Um, a person with a Greek name, but I really bad in reading Greek, uh, is asking: Is Paris going to delete Shahu and Crown? And asking me to ask you about Perk's opinion. So maybe you know what's Luca thinking there. I wouldn't want to speak for Luca, but <laughs> like really, but I'm pretty sure he'll. He'll delete them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could do some like fla yeah. flashy quote for Reddit and like in the name of Ferks. <laughs> no chance, no chance. Please, nothing on Reddit. Okay, um, we have uh, Jerome or Jeroin. I'm sorry if I'm reading your name wrong. Um, asking, do scrims go full games or do they end after a certain time? I think it's referring to before a lot of teams, at least last year, I remember were complaining that after 20 or 25 minutes, no one's playing. Yeah, every game goes to the end, really. We, like, all the teams are really serious right now. There's very rarely a game that teams really want to just, like, FF and go next. So yeah, the the practice has been really good. Teams are really trying hard for Worlds, obviously. Um, I mean, I've got a lot of similar questions on Reddit uh, from G2 staff as well. Uh, basically, you touched briefly on that, but uh, I would like to hear a little bit more. What's there preparing for those best of ones? Is there like particular approach this year? Is it just like overall preparation? Maybe it goes like step by step on improving in that regard. Well, it's it's overall preparation, but it's a lot about how we practice throughout the year, like, or throughout the split rather. It's focusing more on how we approach each game and how we play at different phases of the game, rather than all ending on our preparation looking at other teams and how they're going to play we care more about like ourselves and we'll still obviously look at other teams and adjust if we need to but the fact that we can focus on ourselves a lot more will mean we're a lot more consistent which is the big problem with best of ones so what's going on <laughs> trick just shouted something i'm not uh, sure what he shouted um also, people asking, uh, I, I'm also switching to Reddit for s uh, some interesting questions there. Um, did the team adapt to the 7.18 patch already? How you feel 
on that because I remember also I think uh, Sven was saying in our previous video that team currently got like a better read of meta and knows how to prepare better. So what what do you think about that? Yeah, we had a yeah we had a really really good read on seven sixteen when we played Misfits. I think we understood the patch much more than they did, and the series went a lot easier than it could have pretty much off at the back of drafting, I think. And this patch, quite a bit has changed. Like, Cassiopeia is no longer a pick that you can really draft around. Like, <laughs> sorry, there's a sweaty Weldon looking at me, and it's a bit distracting. I see his reflection. <laughs> <laughs> It's a really sweaty world and holy moly. He, he um, so has yeah. samurai uh, ha hair or something. Oh yeah, he does. I didn't actually think of that. It is a samurai haircut almost. Hey. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Please go away. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, so yeah, 718. Like, we're definitely a lot better at looking at the patch now. We definitely get a lot more out of our practice looking at how to draft and how other teams want to draft. Joey's definitely done a lot of work on that, even at the bootcamp looking at the other team's playoff games. So hopefully we do get the right read. Sometimes at like international events, when you have such a big like pause between games, it can be hard. But as long as we play what we practice, I think we'll be doing good. Um. Also, there was a question um, on Reddit, I think. Uh, people are asking, are con Korean teams still considered to be way above and ahead of all the other teams? Or do you feel that this year the power has shifted a little bit? I think Rift Rivals, when China played Korea, kind of showed that they're not like, like just the best. Like, you can't beat them. There's, there's definitely an opening there. I think this year is the best chance we've had of any years. But they're still good. Like They're still the most consistent region and they can play probably the highest level more uh, often than other regions. Uh, Leo Coleman is asking that uh, a lot of analysts put the Chinese teams above Western teams. Are they looking that good or are they getting overrated? Uh, I personally think they're a bit overrated. They're definitely good, but from what I've seen of them, I think a bit overrated, yeah. I think they're just a lot more aggressive. So they look a lot flashier, but maybe they look stronger because they're playing other Chinese teams. I, I have a question for myself um, regarding RNG. Um, I I know that the uh, I don't remember I think that Proskurin was mentioning uh, their aggressive playstyle and them not being very consistent, but also them some yeah. sometimes just demolishing the opponents. Yeah. What What do you think? Like how good we can adapt uh, like playing against such teams? Because in best of ones, obviously, like you know, it's it's do or die, and you can't really adapt. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of going to be like MSI almost, like where hmm, they're definitely a lot more aggressive, especially RNG. And it will be interesting because we are a lot more mid to late game focused compared to them. So I'm expecting some games like MSI where you have to kind of ride the storm and then go, go late game, really. Ride the storm. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Um, I also was curious: uh, is there any team potentially from play-in stage joining the group that you would like to avoid? Personally, I'd like to avoid Cloud9 because any European versus NA games tend to be a bit cloudier than other games. They never just—they're never just simple normal games. Always something goes crazy. But I think. The way it's set up, it looks like Hong Kong, Attitude, or Cloud9 are most likely going to come into our groups. And I think I'd be happy with either of those, really. I think Cloud9 might be better because they're more likely to take games off of the other teams in our group. And that, that might be important coming into it. 
I have another question from Reddit. What's one big strength in terms of gameplay for G2 right now and one big weakness that you have to fix before Worlds starts? Okay. <laughs> I think our strength is that all five players are one really good. We don't really have a weak link right now. I think everyone's playing pretty close to the top of their level and by the time we get to Worlds, I think they'll be even better. So I think their strength is just that that everyone's so good, really. And weakness. Hmm. That's a tough one. I almost don't want to, to give away a weakness that might help someone against us. Cheeky weakness. I think our 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 weakness is probably like ourselves. Like if we 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 if we doom the game ourselves, that's probably the biggest thing to avoid, like just snowballing our own mistakes in games. But we're definitely a lot better than, at that than we were at MSI. Okay, there was another question asking what is actually the G2's goal for this world. Uh, can we make quarters, semis, finals, win the thing? <laughs> I think other players have their own like personal goals of what they want to take out of Worlds, but I think overall the first goal is obviously get out of groups, and I think that's what the main aim is, to right the wrongs of last year. But I think once we get to best of fives, like every every single game, we can take like one at a time, and we can take any team in a best of five, really. So, to... so that be... Yeah. <laughs> So, to um, what would you answer to Nassim Z, who is asking, can Christopher Duff tell us what are G2's chances for winning Worlds? Um, better than they were last split, I'd say. I think if we get to best of fives and we get like every single game we can learn so much from at that point, then I think we can do well. But I'm not going to say we're going to go in with Worlds, but we can definitely do really well there. It's just one game at a time, really. I, I just wanted to have a short break and answer the question that we had that I just discussed uh, before we started with Carlos. People were asking if he's going to bring his scarves to China. So <laughs> the answer here is that... Um, if we reach playoffs, Carlos is actually planning to come over. So let's hope we do. Let's hope he brings the scarves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I actually brought a scarf with me, so I'm prepared. Nice. Prepared for Carlos coming. Great. <laughs> um, I also want to encourage once again people on Facebook, please send us some questions. The best questions, I think, like in the next five minutes, I will be giving you a special secret phrase, which is going to be a little bit funny, and you will have to send it as a message to G2 Esports, and if you happen to be from one of 45 countries, which PaySafeCard is actually working in, then you will get the 10 euro, or, I don't know, equivalent of that, to buy good stuff, including our G2 emotes and icons, which are pretty sick. So yeah. That was like advertisement. <laughs> so yep, yep. <laughs> back to work. Um, um, one actually Cloud9 fan asked, how much do you guys scrim and how much solo queue? Scrims probably about six games a day. Like we do games in two blocks. So we play three games before lunch and then three games after that. Mostly depending on time. Like if there's time for more, we play more depending on the length of the games. And then anything out of that is just like solo queue time for the players. And they generally play a lot later than I stay awake, so I'm not sure exactly when they finish. But they definitely play late. Um, maybe for you personally, and also because the question was which team are the players most excited to play against? So maybe you can say overall, and for you, like from the analysis point of view, Maybe yeah, for... the most interesting opponent? I'm more excited to play against RNG, I think. But I think Perks always said he wanted to play against Crown. So I'd, I'm sure the players overall mostly looking forward to Samsung Galaxy. But yeah, I want to play 
I like playing char- Chinese teams. I think the games are always really interesting and really fun to look back on. So I'm looking forward to some good games. I guess then. Well, I have the whole bunch of questions about obviously food. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So so you 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 can just start the like Korean cuisine <laughs> theme, uh, coming with the. Uh, what is the favorite food? What do the guys eat there? What you like yourself? I think Korean barbecue is pretty much the answer to all of those questions. <laughs> it's, yeah, pretty much a lot of Korean barbecue and some fried chicken in there as well. And generally for breakfast, there's like a lot of small shops around us. So we just go and I'll pretty much order whatever looks good starting to get a taste for spicy food now so mm. i'm learning i'm learning in korea it's good oh i have actually i prepared one funny question uh, i mean it's a little it's sort of ridiculous but i think it's funny um i think okay. in one of the latest uh, fanatic uh, series episodes there was a fact that reckless can't eat with chopsticks and someone in the comments yeah. uh, wrote that uh, oh my god he must be really unlucky with the fangirls over in asia because he can't <laughs> so i just want to ask you on where we stand as a team can our players use chopsticks <laughs> yeah i think everyone's top tier i mean we've got two korean players so that helps they've they've definitely taught everyone else how to use them i think Dehan, a couple of days ago, was actually complimenting Sven on how much better he got at chopsticks since you last seen them. Nice. So I think I'm actually the worst at this point. Okay, understood. But that's good news for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I've got another bunch of uh, people uh, asking stuff on Facebook. and uh, We have Ryan Burks with the question, have you played TSM? If you can't answer, how does... How do you think TSM will do? And he added lol. <laughs> lol. Yeah, I can't answer lol. But I think TSM, their their group looks good for them, really. I think it's one of those groups where any team could be any team. I think similar to our group, but I think they're just that little bit better than Misfits and the other teams in that group. Okay. It'll be fun. It'll be fun to play them and quarters or semis um also we have a funny suggestion here from nevin marco he is asking can you make an open bet with the team that if they win worlds they have to all to shave their heads <laughs> <laughs> i don't think i could convince them of that i don't think that would work i, I think they all like their sad. hair too much i also yeah. would be sad for dehan in particular yeah definitely <laughs> Okay, um, so I, I think that someone tuned in later, so just maybe you can give a quick version of the answer. Do you fear the best of one or you fix this problem? Miguel was asking. No, I, think, I don't think we fear that. It's really just a question of how you prepare for the games. And I think we've been spent the past split practicing for best of ones. So I think we're, we're much better suited to it this year. So definitely not scared. Um, w- another question that we also sort of reviewed, but coming back to it for a little bit, how is the me- uh, meta on the Worlds patch compared to EU playoff patch? It's like a lot of the champions are the same, but the biggest difference is in draft. I think like champions like Cassiopeia that used to really be a pillar of the format got nerfed. so drafting changed quite a bit like role role priority changed champion priority changed so the meta might look similar but it's it feels very different okay now i want to do another well it's not really advert break but i'd like to lose some of those pins which i have (laughs) um so yeah just guys so you know we'll be contacting the winners after we get your messages in the message, you will need to write a um, secret phrase, which I'm about to show you now. Um, and I'm going to call the names of the people who I would consider winners. If you hear your name, send me the phrase and happen to be of one, from one of those 45 countries, you are the lucky winner. That's pretty easy, <laughs> pretty hard. <laughs> I don't know. We'll <laughs> see. Um, 
So, i just going to go through the comments. Ocelot is not getting one. Oh, I'm lucky. <laughs> um, so, first guy, Leo. I don't know. Ah, yeah, you probably can read the phrase. Leo Coman. Then, I would like to say, Nassim Z. Sven Neuhart. And wait a second, who else? Who else? Um, um, Jerowen? Jerowen? Damn, I'm bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would also like to add Hiram Mendes and Miguel, who is B right back or B or B. Miguel. And that one, no, I don't like this question. And I'm adding also Titus. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys. Leo, Nassim, Sven, Jerowen. I'm really sorry, I must be pronouncing your name terribly. Miguel and Titus. And we're going to have maybe another three to five people once we're wrapping up. Just going to refresh my threads everywhere to see what sort of great have comments. Maybe another what sort of great comments and questions we've got. Um, well, we got more Ezreal Jungle. Um, oh, basically, we have some people offering their services if you need a world-class ADC instead of Sven. <laughs> ah, nice, nice. That's oh. what we needed, actually. Oh, sh uh, shoo. People saying it's too blurry. Wait a second. Um, I'm trying again. Not enough pixels. This is this better? I hope it's better. Can you spam hearts, someone? Please tell me. Let me know. Oh, oh, that's too close. Oh my god, <laughs> I have a delay watching the stream. Okay, I think that's good. Anyway, I wrote your names, guys, so it's fine. We're gonna get in touch. Don't worry. Um. Okay. Okay. We can't read. Marvin, your name wasn't there. It's fine. If you ask a great question, <laughs> you might get in there and I'm going to speak out loud the phrase as well. So, yep. Okay, one second. Ooh, we have we have someone from Reddit with no question. No Just question. Just wanted to wish you good luck. The Ooh, group is hardest, but someone. nothing is impossible. Make us proud. We'll definitely try. <laughs> Um, actually, there was a question which I'm also curious. Um, someone was asking, G2 is such a polarizing team, like when people hear G2 name, it's like either love or hate. What do you think on yeah. that? How do you feel? Um, I feel like that's that's changed a bit recently. I think over the past like split, maybe two splits, I think we, we've kind of pulled away from from that sort of persona. Really, but I think it's a good thing to have. It's a good thing to have someone polarizing in the scene. The bad boy makes things more interesting. <laughs> it makes things more interesting for sure. Um, we had also fanatic fan asking on Reddit, um, asking for an honest opinion from G two on Misfits and Fanatic situation. Do you guys think that Misfits is the better team? Or are you like me and think that Fnatic should have been the second seed from Europe? Uh, I think Fnatic's probably the better team of the two. I think they just really... Second seed from Europe. I don't know what the reason was, but they just underperformed against Misfits really hard. I think we all expected Fnatic to win. And I think if they played again, I would still probably vote for Fnatic to win. <laughs> I think they're probably the better team. But, yeah, I think Fnatic are the better team overall, but Misfits definitely have their strengths. We have a question from Lucas. He's, he say, that's a great question. How do you think the rivalry between SKT and Samsung has changed regarding to last year, and how would you rate the three Korean teams in the current meta? How would I rate them? A 
that's a tough one. I haven't actually Great thought about how I would actually rate. Yeah, how I would actually rate them. I don't know. I'm still like I've been following League for a long time, so I still want to put SKT on top. And I think, hopefully, with a good couple of weeks behind them, I think they will be the best team for Worlds. And I'm hoping Samsung are the third because we have to play them, so that would be <laughs> more convenient. So yeah, SKT, then, then Longzhu, then Samsung, I think. Wait a second, I'm, I'm writing in our comments. Ah, nice. I want to be, oh, I want to be fancy and I mistyped, amazing. Uh, wait, nice. a, wait a second, I'm, I'm working on it. I was the head of content, there must be smiley faces with no typos. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we also have a great fan watching. Big hello to Joey's dad. <laughs> oh, <he> nice. <laughs> so Jeff is sending us the question, do you go out after scrims and have some fun? <laughs> Not really. I think mostly after scrims, a few of us all go out for dinner or whoever wants to play solo queue straight away will stay. I think there's not been that much time for fun, really. It's it's serious. It's boot camp time. Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering because, I mean, it's in Korea and everyone who's seen Trick's streams and just generally knows that he's a big fan of karaoke and I know that Expected is yeah. sort of big fan of karaoke. So have you guys been to one already? Are you planning to before you go to China? We haven't been to one yet, but there's definitely still time before the bootcamp ends. I think we walk past one and <laughs> there's, there's a chance there's a chance we go there for sure. Okay, I see. Um, let me check if we have any more questions. If not, I'm going to repeat guys the phrase, don't worry, I'm going to speak it all out. Actually, it's um, a Samurai we... Never Die, referring to the New World song. Samurai Never Die. And so far we had the winners, that was Leo, Nassim, Sven, Jerome, I'm sorry, Hiram, Miguel and Titus. And I will be announcing another three to five people, no worries. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, we have a um, question from Vladislav who joined us. Do you think EU will get out of the group stage? Because it looks like EU is the worst this year. Not very I <laughs> motivating. Yeah, I think at least one team will. Yeah, for sure. I think we will. Okay. But I'm not so sure about Misfits. I think any team in that group could beat each other. So it could really go down to tiebreakers at that point. And then who knows? Misfits could make it out. And... Yeah, it depends what group Fnatic gets put into in the end. But yeah, I think I think Europe could go out of groups. I think we should. Um, another question from Sahil Raiz. Um, hey Christopher, my question is, how long do you plan on keeping this team steady? What are your thoughts on the team's recent performance? How, how does he mean by steady? Keeping this team steady. Well, I, I believe I like this fourth consecutive ULC okay, okay, champions okay. is quite steady. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's true. That's that's pretty steady. <laughs> yeah, I think recently we've been playing the best that we've played as a team for pretty much the whole time we've been together. I think we're we're peaking at the right time, and hopefully with the boot camp we can keep going up. We're definitely looking strong. Definitely. Um, a person called Garrett Ulrich sending much love to you <laughs> and everyone. Xizil? I don't know how to pronounce correct, but obviously you know. Zizzle. Uh -huh. I know who it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait for the guy. Wait for <laughs> <him>. <laughs> um, So Marvin um, also was asking Do you think someone will dethrone the Korean teams this year, or what are your thoughts? I think it's going to be tough. I think they're they're still the best teams at the tournament, so maybe not. 
but hopefully we can take a good crack at it. I think hopefully we get some, we get out of groups and get a good best of five to to see how much better we could do this time around. I think we all felt like we were actually really close at MSI against SKT, and it would be good to have another best of five to to see how far we've come and to see if they've improved or got worse overall. Um, I'm, I'm switching shortly uh, to Reddit. Um, there was someone asking how how is the team feeling towards performing well internationally? Are they affected by last year's poor result, or did MSI help with the team morale and boost the mental state? I don't think anyone really thinks about previous events. I think, yeah, just from talking to the players and just being around the players, I don't think they really think about previous events when they're playing or coming into events. I think maybe there's a bit more pressure on the practice, but when they go on stage, there's really, it just doesn't affect them. Oh, there's a great question from Hiram. Are you making perks practice Yasuo so we can get G2 Yasuo once you win the world? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't need to practice that. You can just play that in the final. It's fine. It's fine. No but, practice necessary. Wow, well, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> And also, we are planning to wrap up soon, guys, so maybe send in your last questions. Lucas is really going for that pin. He even wrote yeah. that he wants one. Um, he's got a question about scrims. Is your goal rather to scrim few teams but more games against them, or you try to get scrims against more teams? Um, also, which region do you prefer scrimming after LCK? I think there's benefits to both, really. Like, if you get a few teams, then you're not really showing so much to many teams, which is a positive thing, really. But again, if you scrim many teams, it's really useful for best of ones because you get to see a lot of different play styles and a lot of different like openings to games and how they can go. So that's that's it. Probably depends on the team and how the team wants to practice like opening I think games and play how they can go many teams. so that's really at this point I think we're comfortable on how we want to play so just opening ourselves to what other teams have to play like in Europe there's not that many different play styles to practice against so it's good experience to play as many teams as you can um, I know that there was a question regarding TSM, but there's another more general one. How do you think NA teams will perform at Worlds? Mm. I don't have much hope for Cloud9, really. I think they're probably the weakest of the three, but I think TSM should go out of their group, unless something goes wrong, as it inevitably does for TSM in group stages, don't know. And Immortals look a lot better than I thought they would. So they could do well. I'm not sure how well, but they, they could be good. Um, Philip asked, uh, also probably is just uh, the last or one of the few last questions uh, that we're going to cover today. Philip was asking, could you give, give a quick run, rundown on your predictions who's going to get out of the groups in the other groups? Yeah, they're groups, right. I'll just have to quickly get them in front of me. Yeah, so, you can uh, tell our group as well. We are going 6-0. <laughs> well, Carlos already decided that, so <laughs> yeah. I don't need to do much work It's all there. scripted. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, oh, wait, that's the wrong groups. One second. Let me just get to the right bit. Da, 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 da. Almost there, right? Mm -hmm. No worries. Okay, I have the groups in front of me now. Okay. Mm. Well, I think it's pretty clear. I think SKT and EGG will make it out of Group A, and probably SKT is first seed. Um, group B. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I really like Gigabyte Marines. I really enjoyed. What they brought to MSI, so I, I hope they go through with Longzhu in Group B. But 
but I'm thinking probably Immortals, depending on what team comes from play-ins. Like they could potentially get Fnatic in there, and then that group gets a lot more interesting. I don't know. I really like Giga Memories. I really enjoyed that. Could well, they could take games off of each other. Uh, obviously, G two six zero. Carlos <laughs> has decided that. So, and then probably it would have to be Samsung Galaxy after that. And then, I I really really have a soft spot for Flash Wheels, um, especially after they pretty much qualified us for playoffs in MSI. So hopefully they go through and probably TSM. Yeah, I think TSM and Flash Rules will be out of that group. But I hope I hope Misfits do. They've got a couple of good UK lads in that team, so it'll be good to see them do well. Okay. That's a great rundown. I, I think that uh, we already, you have a little bit late time there and <laughs> have yeah. to get some rest as well. So guys, we'll yeah, be... Definitely finishing our stream in just a little bit. Um, before that, I would like to announce five more pin people, pin winners. Uh, it will be, <laughs> uh, well, trying to be creative here. Um, that would be Lucas, Philip, Sahil, Marvin, and Vladislav. All of you guys remember the phrase, I know you can't read. I, I heard it before, I'm going to show it anyway. The phrase is, Samurai Never Die, referring to the New World song. So please send it as a message to G2 Esports on Facebook. We're going to respond to this because we need your name, your country. You must be from one of those 45 countries where PaySafe card is working. Otherwise, you can't get the prize. I'm sorry for that. Not our rules. And all the other guys, thanks for joining, for listening to us. Thanks for sending a lot of questions to Chris. We'll have Thanks. our head coach Joey Yumbuck next joining us in a couple of days. We'll follow us on social media. Get him hyped, Chris. <laughs> oh, he'll be ready. Uh -huh. Don't worry. To reveal all the scrims details. Yeah, yeah. He can reveal them all. Uh -huh. I'm joking. I'm joking. Just... Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you guys for joining. Hope you had a good time. Uh, we'll be getting in touch with the winners, and during the other scrims that we're going to have, it's going to be at least two more of those. You also will be able to win those pins, so stay active, follow us on the social media, and you also will be able to vote which League of Legends player will be joining us. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Who is that going to be? I'm already excited. So thanks a lot for to everyone for joining. Thank you, Chris, a lot for your time. I know it's late. Get some rest. No problem. No problem. Don't thanks for having me. It's don't a lot stop fun. kicking ass there. <laughs> thanks for the <laughs> great answers. And yeah, bye-bye. See you. Goodbye, everyone. It was a good bye. time. Bye.